Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I wanted to share with you a quick tip that has been huge for me and my business as far as speeding things up. I, I'm kind of a life hack of sorts. I love finding ways to make things faster. And um, the one that I want to share with you today is basically using Photo Mechanic as opposed to Lightroom to ingest or import your photos and then cull through them. And I can't tell you enough how quickly Photo Mechanic is compared to Lightroom. Now, for those of you who don't know about Photo Mechanic, it's basically a program that's used in um, the sports journalist world, for example, the sports photography, um, where they have to shoot and go in at halftime or right after the game and get those photos up to the wires as quickly as possible and caption them and, you know, and, and all that kind of good stuff. So um, uh, thinking about that same idea, I'm basically applying it to wedding photography and of course this could be for any any photos. Um, now if you're importing let's say 20, 30 photos in a Lightroom, probably not a big deal. But if you're importing a, a few hundred or a few thousand, um, waiting for that little loading, 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 that just takes forever. So I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way in Photo Mechanic and I swear this will probably at least cut your time in half if not more. I I, I feel like it's it's uh, made me 10 times faster for that matter. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I have Lightroom open here, I have Photo Mechanic open here. I'm actually going to just minimize this for now and just maximize my Photo Mechanic screen. But I just want to show you a couple things in Photo Mechanic that really are invaluable. And the first one is where I can ingest, when, when I say ingest, it's basically meaning import, when I can ingest multiple cards at once. So it's not just one card. So for example, if I come right up here and I say ingest, okay, now right here I'm going to go ahead and pop in a card into my computer. And I actually have three card readers hooked up, and they're not, they're not fast card readers. Um, they're just your kind of standard overall normal card readers, but I'm just going to click off that for a minute. So I'm going to hit rescan, and there it is. It pops up. Now, I'm not going to go through all the details of the ingest screen, guys, and I could do that on a future video. If this is popular and you guys, if you guys like it and you say, hey, I want to see more of that, I'd be happy to do that. But um, for now, I like to keep these pretty short. But I do want to just show a couple things. I always have my primary destination set. So what I'm going to do is I just imported some photos for my wife um, just off her normal camera. So I'm going to go back to my normal settings here. And you'll notice, see how everything's kind of dated. I have year, month, date, and then you know whatever it is I shot, and then the name. Um, this is my active folder. This is the things I'm, I'm editing or just finished editing. And that's how I want all my pictures to come in. I want them to be dated just like that, okay? So I'm going to hit OK there. That's my, that's my primary destination. My secondary destination, I always have it go to a backup. And you know what? It's already selected. I just had to turn it on. So it goes to my, my backup folder. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm not going to worry about. I am going to go over here to uh, what I want to rename these photos. So for example, if I want to give it a name, um, I'm just going to call this video tutorial for now. And I'm going to hit sequence. So it adds a sequence. And I'm going to set my sequence to be 0001. Now I always do in the thousands just in case I shoot over a thousand photos. I want to make sure they stay in sequence. So I hit OK. And so there, that's going to be my name. Video tutorial sequence 0001. Um, I do want to open my contact sheets during ingest. And what's nice about that is I can actually start calling as the photos are still downloading. And then over here where it says folder name, this is where I choose the year, the month, the date. This is where I show that organization. So every single picture that gets imported gets organized by that, by when I captured it. And then at the end, I'll always put like a heading. So I'll put like, you know, wedding, um, you know, Eric and Shannon or whatever. And you'll see right down here where it says primary destination, it shows my year, month, day, wedding, Eric, Shannon, and then in my backup, the exact same thing. All right. Um, now for this one, I'm just going to put video to uh, tutorial just so I don't get myself confused later on. Now here's the beautiful part, guys. When I hit ingest, what's nice about it is now as that's ingesting, I can now put other cards in. Okay. And these other cards, I can start ingesting these as well at the same time. And I can't tell you how much time this is saved. Let me just turn off this window stuff. I'm going to hit rescan here. And there it found my other two cards. And now I can keep everything the same. If it was the same wedding, for example, I can keep it all the same. I can hit ingest. And notice how it automatically tells me what sequence I'm going to start at. So I'm just going to hit ingest here. And now look, immediately it's putting them in different dates because these are different screens. This was from when I shot some photos of my uh, camera charger that I put an article uh, up on a blog. Um, here's some senior photos, but you can see each one's going in a different dated folder. Um, if this was the wedding, they would all go in the same one. Um, and you can see they're all getting renamed and, 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 and put in their folder. So right here immediately I can see under task, it shows all my ingesting happening. Once it finishes, it lets me know it's done and, and we're ready to rock and roll. So I can't tell you, this, this is so 
it's a huge, huge time saver for me when I'm using, uh, when I'm ingesting or importing my cards. Now, the other thing that's beautiful about Photo Mechanic is I can immediately start culling my photos. Now, culling is basically going through and picking out the good ones and getting rid of the bad ones. I uh, don't like to just reject the bad ones. I like to just pick the good ones. So, in other words, everything is rejected unless I've picked it. All right, that's that's kind of my my logic, the way I think through things. Um, now, I'm just going to click on these. And I'll show you the great thing about Photo Mechanic. Oh, it keeps, it keeps. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that noise, but as the ingests are complete, it, it lets me know that it's, it's finished. Here's the nice thing about Photo Mechanic. You notice the eyes right there are immediately. I can see if they're sharp or not. Now watch when I hit to the next photo. Immediately, same thing. Okay. Now the way I use Photo Mechanic is if there's a picture I like, I hit T, and when I hit T, you're going to see right up here. There's a little thing, it, it, a little check mark. It tags the photo. Okay, now I have it so it auto advances to the next one as well. So when I hit T, it auto advances. T, don't like that one. I like that one. Don't like that one. I like that one. And you guys see how quickly this goes without having to bring these photos into Lightroom. I don't have to wait for it to load. You'll notice here I, I, I focused on his eyes and her eyes are out of focus a little bit. So I actually changed my lens up and I brought out my uh, tilt shift lens. So right there I can see her eyes and his eyes are both in focus there. There's a better example. Um, here we go back. I'm going to uncheck that one. I'll check this one. So again, you see how I can just go straight on through and immediately I can pick these photos without having to wait for any loading or anything like that in Lightroom. All right. So I can go through and pick a few more here. Now, once I've done that, once I've gone through and picked my photos. Oh, and by the way, the, the way I get to this preview screen is when I'm in the contact sheet here, I just double click on a picture and it opens up this preview screen, which is a lot bigger image to look at. If I wanted to, I could look at these thumbnails by just making this bigger or smaller right here. Um, but I, I personally, I like that preview screen. I like going through it quickly that way. So once, once I have uh, chosen my photos, once I have tagged the ones I like, you see right here the little tag mark, then all I need to do is come over to where I shot it. Let's see, I think it was 412, I believe. Uh, you know, I notice that video tutorial, video tutorial, video tutorial. I have all these in, ingesting in the same folder. And, and obviously in a normal situation, I wouldn't do that. But since I had three cards and I just want to show this quickly, I just named them all the same. And I'll just get rid of those later. But I believe it was 412 when I did these, these headshots um, for this couple here. Um, so once I've tagged those pictures, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the very top here. And I am going to sort by tagged images. And immediately you'll see that it get, gets rid of everything except for the photos that I've already tagged. Okay. So oh, let me go back, tagged images, okay? And I scroll down, and there's the ones you can see check marks on each one of these. Now from here, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, I know some photographers, they like to do this. They like to go in here, and they put a new folder, and they call it their tagged folder. And then what they'll do is they'll drag these images. They'll select all of them, okay? And then they'll drag them over to the tagged folder. You can absolutely do that, um, and that's one way to doing it. Um, and I, I've done that many times in the past, and I've told people to do that, and, and it works great. But I will show another way that I actually started using just recently, and I like it even better. What I'll do is I'll just bring my photo mechanic screen to the side. I'm going to bring my Lightroom screen up as well. And right here, all I have to do is once I have my tagged pictures and I selected all of them, I just take it and drag it right over into Lightroom. And when I do that, what it will do is it will import only my tagged pictures, okay, which is fantastic that's all I need right I don't need everything else I just want to import my tagged images and so when I hit import now immediately those images come into Lightroom and now I can start doing my edits into them but again I don't have to worry about seeing all my pictures I don't have to worry about trying to cull in Lightroom and waiting for it to load all that kind of stuff is out the door and it goes so much faster now there's other things in photo mechanic and like I said if this is something you guys want to learn more about I'd be happy to show you um, there's ways on how to, to, to tag images with with data with metadata and so forth um, there's ways on coloring it and rating it and all kinds of different things and, and how you can you know make Lightroom and Photo Mechanic work together. So hopefully this video was useful though and, and you guys found it uh, Photo Mechanic to be a program that maybe you can use in your own business. I know for me it's it sped things up incredibly and, and I absolutely love it. So hopefully you do as well. Um, you can always go online and download. They have a free trial version you can try out and see if it works for you. It might look a little bit um, scary when you first open it. You might uh, see some of the boxes and not recognize them, but I promise with just a little bit of diving in, you'll notice that it's very, very easy to use. And, and uh, like I said, I absolutely love it. It's done wonders for my business. So you guys have a wonderful day. Again, my name is Trevor Daly, and uh, make sure to subscribe to the video so you can see more in the future. Thanks, guys.